Adding a table of contents is a good way to provide everyone with an easy way to navigate through the document. A table of contents requires a heading structure and will correspond with the document's page numbers. So to add a table of contents, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the top of the document here and I'm going to press Control and Enter. When I press Control and Enter, that gives me a clear page at the top of the document. From there, we go to References and then from References on the References tab, we'll go down to Table of Contents and you can see that little pop-down menu appears. There's lots of options to choose from, including creating your own custom table of contents. But what I'm going to do just now is just choose the automatic table of contents. And there it is, very easy just to add, and you can see it corresponds. So if I wanted to go down to the armistice, control and click, and that takes me back. And because I've got my go to top pin, I can click that and we'll go back to the, to the document. Um, you can also, if you wanted to, we can just highlight that and we could maybe uh, change the, um, just highlight the field. If I go to home, you could, for example, do a double spacing or increase the spacing should you want to. One and a half, that's a, an option to do. And if by any chance that the pages, you add more pages or the document is edited and you need to update it, then again, it's just a case of highlighting the table of contents, right clicking, and then you can see update field. And you get the choice of whether you want to update the page numbers only or update the entire table. So there are lots of ways in which you can edit and enhance and improve the table of contents. Mm -hmm.